Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, firstly, I'd like to apologize for the little gap in videos. We haven't released any videos for a couple of weeks, it's just purely because we've been really busy here in the warehouse. So there's been other things that I've had to get on and sort. Um, but today uh, I'm gonna show you how to fit um, a Chris Holm T-bar handle onto the saddle and put it all together, ready for a ride. Um, and I've got my little new camera so I can show you up close with all the bits that we've got. Um, so yeah, other than that, let's just get straight into it. Uh, so um, why don't we have a look on the table and see what we've got first. So I've got my little camera, <coughs> excuse me. So these are all the bits that you get in the box, obviously not the Allen keys, but for starting there, you're gonna need a four and a five mil Allen key to put these together. It comes with a little clamp, stiffener plate, the adjustable bracket for the different angles and the handle, some nice rubber coated bar ends, plates for this bracket, and then you get a straight T-bar piece and a bent one. Can you see that? It's obviously bent curves up the front, and then you get lots of hardware and other bits and pieces. So, um, <clears throat> if you were fitting this to a Chris Holm saddle, so this is a Fusion 1 saddle that I've got, but this is the same for the street saddle and the free ride saddle, you would use the stiffener plate, this one, that comes in the box with the uh, T-bar handle. But if you wanted to fit this handle to, for instance, um, any of the saddles that have an impact base or a stadium, um, all the impact saddles, any of the unicycle or com saddles, you're going to need a new stiffener plate. So this one, I'll just show you that a bit closer. Um, and obviously this stiffener plate fits, this is a, a stadium saddle by the way, so that's a stadium saddle. So this stiffener plate fits this saddle and you would just replace the plate that comes with the T-bar with this one. And obviously this stiffener plate fits the Chris Holmes saddle perfectly. So if you put them side by side, you can see them too. So what the plate that comes in the box and the impact reinforcement plate that you can buy separately. So it fits the impact bases. Um, so what we're going to do is obviously we're not going to fit it to a stadium today. We're going to fit it to this Fusion 1 saddle. So I'll just move a few bits and pieces out of the way. Um, the first thing that you need to do is you need to remove the five bolts. So the bolt at the back of the saddle and the four bolts holding the handle on with your four mil allen key. So we'll just get that going. And there you go. So I've got the all the bolts removed. I'll show you a bit up close. So this is the Fusion 1 saddle and I've removed the this is the bolt for the stiffener plate and I've removed the four bolts that hold the handle on. You see that? And obviously these bolts that I've taken out, we have replacements that come with the T-bar, which are a bit longer. So we're not gonna need these, so we'll put them to one side. And then the first bit that you want to put on is the reinforcement plate. Now this goes on one of two ways. So if it was going on a free ride or a street saddle, it would go on this way. Obviously, if it's going on a Fusion 1 saddle, you flip it over and it goes face down. This is really obvious, obviously, when you're putting the plate on, which way it goes. Um, and it just sort of sits in the handle like that. What I've found to sort of get this aligned is I put the bolt at the back of the plate in first. Just look roughly. Um, just that one there, look. Um, and it sort of roughly aligns all of the holes and the handle. This is the bit that can be a little bit annoying. Next, once we've got that plate sort of roughly on there, we need to roughly assemble the adjustable bracket that the handle bolts into. So the two little brackets have a, a tapered to go into the handle. So the small bit, I'll put these down here and get the little camera. You can see that 
See how they're tapered up? So this would be the front and this is the back and you can see how this tapers forward. That's following that same pattern. Um, this wants to go sandwiched between them two things. And then you get the little silver hardware and these have a little tab that push inside there. He says. go and they push and slot and they fix themselves into this little bracket I'll do this one and I'll get the camera and get a bit of a close-up shot on that one like that. see that so I've pushed them into the little bracket and you can see that little lock and pin has locked itself into the plate and then we put this on there like that Push that in there and then get the other plate stick that on top and then you can put this two allen key bolts in there like that and for now i would just do these up by hand um, you don't want to go crazy tight with these just while you're setting everything up like i said there is a little bit of loctite on these bolts so a little allen key helps that along There you go, so that's your bracket. Um, and I'll just get you the camera. So there's the front where the clamp will be. And this is the front of the plate. Can you see that? Yep. Next, you want to take your four bolts that are going to be holding this on and drop them into this plate like this. like that and you want to let the bolts hang through like that while you try and align them in here i found if you drop this bracket up tight up against the plate you can cross thread the bolts so if you leave them hang like this you can slowly wind them in until you get at least one thread on all of them something like that and then when you've got one thread on all of them you can go and tighten all these down and this will sandwich the stiffener plate the handle and the bracket for the handle all together there we go it's starting to look good all these up I find that you have sometimes you have to go, go back over them so you'll get one the bolt will go really tight and then jump to the other side nip that one off because you're effectively pushing the aluminium tight there's an ice cream van here there you go there's a new one um, tight into the plate just like that. Obviously, this is still loose that I haven't nipped up. So I've been around and nipped all them bolts up, nipped them tight up into the plate. Just like that. Um, next, to make it a little bit easier for myself, is I'll just nip one of these up just nicely like that. And obviously, you can start to see what it's going to be like. So, handlebars going to be pointing out the front. Um, next, take your little clamp. Put your little clamp on, pick up the right allen key, give it a little nip up. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the bent one in. So if we slide that in there like that. And a little nip. And you can sort of see this is starting to come together. Um, obviously your seat bus will be bolted on there. And then you get your bar ends and you put your bar ends on. And these are, again, little four mil Allen key. Loosen this off, push them on the end of there. On the other one like that. Give it a mudge. And you can tighten these down as well. Obviously for the 
just for the video I'm just loosely tightening all of these up but there you go you can sort of see the t-bar handles pretty much together and um, with this being a fusion one saddle um, you see post would be on there and that's pretty much it um, when these are on the unicycle you can spend quite a bit of time adjusting how your bar ends are and how further how far you have the handle out sorry and how the angle of adjustment and stuff and obviously this whole thing would be the same sort of setup if you were doing it on this saddle on a stadium saddle i should say um and if you're wanting um to wrap I, th I believe this is the road version and this is the muni version so the muni version can be really close to the saddle and at a real stuff and a steep angle i should say even with the handle removed sometimes as well um but other than that that's about it it's like the the only real trick is to make sure that the four bolt here the sandwich the stiffener plate the bracket and the handle all together are all aligned so if you hold the bracket up as you wind them bolt in you're not cross threading the bolt you're not putting the bolt in at a wonky angle or anything like that um and that's about it really and there's nothing much else to it and um, like i said the real faffy bit comes in when it's on the unicycle and adjusting where you want your handle where you want your bar ends and all them bits and pieces like that um if you've got any questions about this product or any other product on our website please leave it in the comments below um if you have been thank you very much for watching and obviously that classic youtuber thing like share subscribe it changes every time i ask you but if you could do one of them things it would be very much appreciated um and other than that thank you very much guys